for so long I've not really eaten much for my meals. I'm starting to eat smaller meals theoretically more often. Lately I've been eating small meals not that often, which is not good. I'm not condoning that. Make some chicken with, uh, I'm trying like this newer chicken. Costs a little bit more, but I think it's better for you. And some lettuce. Uh, I was just going to make a salad and then I thought I need some carbs and that's a weird feeling because most of the time with my diet I don't eat any carbs. My roommate Randy makes has been making bread lately and really simple recipe and it's been smelling great and I've had a few pieces that taste great so I had him show me how and so I made my own wheat bread with this whole wheat flour stuff. It should turn out okay hopefully. And I'm a little nervous for my half marathon tomorrow. So I just cut up my lettuce a little bit and it has some of this stuff on it. It doesn't look like it's bad, it just looks like it's browning a little bit. But I cut it all off. You don't, I don't have to worry about it, but it doesn't matter in the future. Do any of you know? I'm still super new to vegetables and how to take care of them and I need to get better at that. So if you do know, that would be great. Don't get me wrong, I love steak and I love red meat. It has tons of flavor. But there's something about chicken that satisfies, but it still seems lighter than red meat. In my world, fish is so good. I love fish. I love all meats that I've really tasted. Even the weird parts that I've tasted of animals. It's just great. Having said that, fish, the lightest one. And then there's chicken. Then probably pork, then red meat. Like, well, maybe pork is a red meat. Then, like, beef. I usually just do... Some uh, olive oil, and garlic salt. This one has a little bit of parsley or basil, I think it is. And then um, some pepper. And it's super simple, but you get the right amount of flavoring that you enjoy. I'm gonna make a chicken sandwich, I think, with my fresh homemade bread. The bread is done. And I'm eating like an end here. And the end is like pretty crunchy, but the inside here is like pretty soft and awesome. These are going to be the ingredients for my sandwich. I have some mustard. I love mustard. Pickles, my bread, chicken, and lettuce. So I will make that now and show you how it looks right here. I have my pickles, lettuce, I have a bunch of chicken on there. Probably like almost a whole breast of chicken. But look how thick I did the pieces of bread. They're pretty thick. Sandwich looks pretty good. All homemade. All organic. Kosher pickles. <laughs> I don't know why I even care about that. It just seems like sort of hippie-ish, but it seems healthy. Hippie healthy. Yeah. I'm taking like one bite out of the sandwich. As you can see, it's pretty intense. But this is like a manly, healthy sandwich. Like, huge, thick cut. Um, bread. I think if I ever do bread or like have a bun again with a hamburger, I'm gonna make my own bread and do this bread because it just tastes great. You can taste a little bit of like the whole wheat bread. It's completely whole wheat flour. It just feels something right about this sandwich. Just lean chicken, romaine lettuce, pickles, some Dijon mustard, and some homemade wheat bread. I'll stop talking now, but I'm just sort of proud of myself. <laughs> A little random, but right here is where I'm gonna end in my 5K tomorrow. And Marie pointed that out. I'm pretty scared and stupid for doing this. I'm here at my parents, and I usually have to not eat the food, but with doing all the carb loading, I can have ravioli. So I'm a little bit excited, I'll be honest. I haven't had anything like this in months and months. Andy and I are here, and, and he was pretty angry that. Angry? Anger is a, a harsh We're word. getting some friction defense. I'm actually. Okay, Andy isn't getting any. This is just for me. I'm the only one getting it. Right? No. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm getting it too. Oh, I thought you were like trying to like pretend like you weren't no, getting no. it. I'm also, I'm also getting two of these ace things. Andy's right, I probably should save my life and my knees. I end up getting the gold bond stuff, um, the two knee braces, and some of these Kashi Blackberry Graham bars. Um, they seem pretty good. Uh, Kashi bars from the store. Getting just ready for the race tonight. Waiting tomorrow morning. It's gonna be awesome. 
Carlos is ready for the race too. Whoa! So I'm gonna go to bed now and try and get as much sleep as we can because we wake up at like five or six in the morning and go do this crazy thing. So wish me luck. Just wish me luck for like future endeavors that I haven't done yet, even when you see this. Yep. <laughs> Bye.